Hey y'all, good morning. Well, it's actually like 12.40. <laughs> We've just been chilling on the couch, drinking coffee, um, having my first meal of the day. We, um, I got editing done, I got some editing done, so I have video uploading right now. I'm about to have lunch. This is just my carbonated water in lime. Um, and then this, I actually showed this on my Instagram. I need to add it to a highlight. I need to go back and do that because I think I forgot um, whenever I filmed it. But basically, I cooked up, like on this night that I made this, I cooked up a half pound of ground beef, um, you know, seasoned it sort of like Italian style, garlic powder, whatever. Um, once it was cooked, drained off the grease, added it back to the pan, added chopped zucchini and mushroom, uh, let that kind of cook down. And then once it was like the consistency, like almost cooked that I wanted, I added in uh, pasta sauce, awesome. just like red pasta sauce. I think I did a cup total, like one, um, two servings, and then cut this into two servings. So anyways, I had it for dinner that night and now I'm having the rest for lunch. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's so good. It's literally like a really hearty pasta dish without the pasta and I love it. So this is what I'm having for today, I talked with Erin, my dietitian, on Thursday. Stop eating the flour, please. I just trying to eat my hydrangeas. Um, I did talk to my dietitian this week on Thursday. I sent her a message and was just like, I feel like I'm like really trying during the week and then I'm ruining it on the weekends and I just like can't get it together. I don't know why. And I was like, I think it's weird because I really thought going back to weight loss mode was just going to be so easy because I did it for so long. Um, and she, we just kind of talked about why is it so much harder this time? And she was like, I think with your past dieting history, you were really used to like super strict rules. Yes to this, no to this. Um, strict dieting rules, you know, these are yeses, these are nos. You can have this, you can't have this, etc. And it was just black and white. And so she was like, let's set up some guidelines um, specifically for you, we talked him out. Um, we got on that phone call after I had messaged her. We like messaged about it and we hopped on a call and set up just some general guidelines. So let me tell you about them. First is um, to eat one low carb meal a day. Just switch out a normal meal with something more low carb and that is what I'm doing. I'm not on a low carb diet. I am not on a keto diet or anything like that. I'm not on a diet at all other than I am trying to lose weight. If that's, you know, obviously everyone has a diet, but not any specific fads or anything. And then the second one is no alcohol other than like planned, or yeah, I guess it doesn't have to be planned, but like social gatherings. So if we wanted to go to happy hour with Morgan or with friends, totally fine to have a drink. If we wanna go on a date night out, I can have a cocktail or whatever, um, but just not any like mindless drinking at home for no reason. And I'm not, I don't have like, any alcohol issues, but you know, I'd come home and have a glass of wine a couple nights a week. And for what, you know, what's the point? Just cause it's here, just cause we have it. Like kind of gotten a bad habit of doing that. Um, and I'm not going to do that anymore. And I haven't done it all week. I haven't had a drink since Sunday and it was father's day and we were like at the pool. So I had some like white claws, but since then I haven't drank. I don't really have any plans to drink this weekend. And yeah, I'm just going to stop wasting calories and carbs on that. Um, you know, work out, drink water, and I th think that's all I want to say. I think that's it. So those are kind of the guidelines that we've set up just to kind of make it easier. I'm not even tracking right now. Erin was like, if you're, you know, doing this and following this, your calories should be fine and you should be losing weight. Okay, sorry, I had like a sneeze attack, but she was like, if you're following these guidelines and, you know, eating vegetables with every meal, I try to eat vegetables with always lunch and dinner. That's kind of been thing I've been working on and she's like you should lose weight so I'm gonna do this for a while kind of chill with the tracking and see where we're at this week actually from Monday which I'm sure Monday was higher because I was drinking on Sunday and um, my dad was grilling out and stuff but from Monday morning's weigh-in to Thursday morning's weigh-in was a three pound loss so that's good I know most of that was bloat but we're moving in the right direction and I will take it so I'll weigh it again probably on Monday and I'll try to, um, you know, just keep tracking and progress and I'm just excited. So anyways, I'm about to have this lunch. I'm really excited about it. It's so good. And it's like a huge portion. Um, I'm just excited. I did actually uh, weigh everything out and track this. I was still tracking on this day. So I know the calories. I'll put it right here if you're um, curious. But sometimes I just like to know so I can, you know, gauge if that's a meal that would fit in my day. This is literally lean ground beef, 
vegetables and marinara. So delicious. I'm going to eat this and then I have to head, I need to go to the ATM. We have a like neighborhood kid that's supposed to come his like aunt or whatever posted on our neighborhood Facebook group asking if anyone needed anything power washed or mowed or whatever. And, um, we need our back patio power wash since all that rain and chances muddy paws. It's just like, looks like our patio is covered in mud. So we're going to move the furniture and uh, have him power wash that for us, which is going to be awesome. Yay. It's like one thing off of our house to do list. We're moving rugs around today. Um, then we're going to make smoothies later. I'm going to try to get a workout in. I'm just going to take you with my day. So I'm going to eat. I'll talk to you guys later. So for dinner tonight, I just have some ground beef right here, almost done cooking. And I'm about to add in, this is two zucchini chopped up and some baby bella mushrooms. I just seasoned the veggies with Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. It's just delicious. I'm going to add in some oregano, basil, let that cook down a little bit and then add in some, any pasta sauce will work. And we're just making a little kind of pasta-less pasta dish. I'm adding in two servings, so it's 252, we're a little bit over. Two servings, just supposed to be about a cup of um, pasta sauce. I did drain the grease out of here. And I dump that in and mix it all around. Okay, so this is the final product. So good. I'm very excited. I've been thinking about this literally all day. I went to Whole Foods just to get zucchini and mushroom and coffee, of course. I also have a little side salad. This is just romaine, spring mix, cucumber, pickled red onion, which is Amanda Lewis's recipe. Really excited. Um, a little bit of croutons and some Italian dressing. So dinner tonight. Probably eat about, honestly, this is only half a pound of ground beef, so I might eat half of it. I'm pretty hungry. All right, y'all. Sorry, the dishwasher's on. Um, we have never had these. We just opened them. Jimmy Dean casserole bites, sausage, egg, and cheese. This is what they look like. Um, can have five for only 190 calories, 11 grams of protein. I think we're just going to cook all of them. So, I mean, not that many. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So there's like almost three servings. I don't know why they wouldn't just put three full servings. How annoying is that? And yeah, you just bake them at 350 for like 10 to 15. Is that what it said? Uh, yeah. And that's it. We're having a little chips and salsa. Um, or Morgan is. I'm actually about to make a smoothie. I'm trying to decide if I want to do berries or if I want to do peaches. That's the only thing I think left in here is mango and peaches so i don't know and then i've got bananas right here frozen bananas i'm gonna use my vanilla protein so these are the ones we got chips ahoy delish fruity cereal milk i showed that in a video with some berries already in a smoothie and i'm gonna get this or i'm gonna try this one today pe science gourmet vanilla and we are set on the protein powder wouldn't you yeah. say <laughs> Bad timing, sorry. That's the best protein powder I've ever had, by the way. The ghost? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the most flavorful and doesn't taste weird at the end, so. We love that. Yeah, well, it's good. We're just having a little midday lunchy snacky. <laughs> okay, so down in here, I've got a couple ice cubes, frozen peaches, a little bit of pineapple and mango in there, um, half of a frozen banana. I'm gonna add a scoop of these greens. And then we're gonna do, this has like the shortest handle ever. I can't even handle it. Okay, and we're gonna do a scoop of vanilla protein powder. And I'm gonna add some Oatly oat milk. I might do some water and then the rest milk. So it's creamy, but not overly creamy, you know? All right, here is the smoothie. It just leaked on my hand. Um, I think this is what Morgan meant when he said I make smoothies way too huge. <laughs> just see how much I get through. It's very good. It's very sweet, super sweet with that vanilla. Um, yeah, I mean, it's creamy, like almost ice cream level sweet. So we'll see how much I drink. Probably not all of it. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy as much as I want and maybe put the rest in the freezer for later.
They do look good. So these have potato, I think sausage, egg, and cheese. Yeah. It looks so good. Also made myself a big water to go with my smoothie. It tastes like a literal milkshake. So anyways, I'm excited to try a couple of these too. Look delicious. That one was hot. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Whatever I had was cold. Cold, yeah. These are perfect. You guys, these are so good. I'm a huge fan. I'll buy these again. <clears throat> these are really good. And just for like a little weekend, like easy. Love that. Scrambled eggs, pork sausage, cheese, and potatoes. Here's the, um, only four grams of carbs. That actually surprises me. So, yay. I would have thought there would be like some biscuit dough in here or something, but it's just delicious. Highly recommend if you want a little easy breakfast idea. Okay, y'all, huge fail. I meant to vlog us making dinner, and I should have because it was so funny and good. I'm so sorry, but let me tell you what we're having. So we're having penne pasta with this truff sauce. I'll show you the bottle here in a second. We baked some chicken with like Italian seasoning, so sort of like chicken parm, but no breading and in like little bites. Um, cheese toast because it's Saturday and we ball out on Saturdays. <laughs> This is the sauce, pasta sauce, truff, black truffle, arrabbiata sauce. Delicious and spicy. So, very good. All their stuff is very spicy. Yeah. It's all it's, very good, but it is spicy. Yeah, me. it's like extra spice. If Morgan yeah. says it's spicy, you know that it's spicy. So, this is... Hey, y'all. So, it's, you know, the following week. I just wanted to pop in really quick in, in the middle of this video um, to explain that I have decided to sort of document every single week of this hopefully final weight loss journey. Um, the goal is like from where I was like 20 pounds um, and I've already lost 3.3 as of last week. So this week that you're watching, during this week, during eating these foods that you're seeing, I lost 3.3 pounds. So now I'm on a new week and I am filming snippets of that. Um, different you know meals that I'm eating even if it's I didn't do a full wedding in a day video if I'm eating something new and I think that it's worth sharing I'm filming that for y'all so next week's video the week two update um, or week two will be I think so much better and more fun to watch because you'll get um, just better content versus these photos I'm about to show you it'll be like actual video footage and maybe explaining what I'm making and stuff like that so hopefully hopefully you'll like next week's video better I kind of just thought of the idea of like let's do a weekly I'll sh you know show just parts of the week random food that I ate that week um, update you on workouts and if it's going well or if I'm not having a good week things like that um, just to kind of keep you guys updated and keep myself um, you know motivated oh I hope there's still more traffic over here I have real bad traffic oh well um, so you're about to see a couple photos of some dinners that I ate that I just for, didn't film because at the time of last week I didn't realize I hadn't yet thought of the idea to just film kind of like weekly. Uh, it's like what eating a day, but it's for the entire week and it's not every, it's not a full every single day. Does that make sense? Just like the interesting stuff that y'all haven't seen yet. I want to show you, if I show you a meal prep, I don't want to show you me eating the meal prep every day. Like you get it. I made the meal prep and then I'm going to eat the meal prep. <laughs> so I'll show you the good stuff. Um, and yeah, the first week went great. I'm feeling amazing. It was really nice to get those pounds off. I'm sure some of it was just, you know, a little bit of bloat from that Father's Day, um, you know, drinking by the pool day. But for the most part, I am feeling amazing. And I really do feel like those three pounds were, were good. Um, and yeah, I'm just really feeling good. I am loving the new goals that we have. So we're, you know, obviously sticking with the one low carbon meal, one low carbon meal, one low carb meal a day, uh, trying to prep a meal to have ready every single day. I don't think I mentioned that earlier in the clip. And then also, um, only alcohol in like social situations when I'm like going out versus just like drinking wine at home because we have wine and we're at home type of thing. Um, it's been working really, really well. I still haven't drank since like father's day. Um, and I definitely wasn't drinking every day, but when Morgan was out of town, I would have like a glass of wine while I cooked dinner. And it really, at that point, is just empty calories. So what's the point in it? And now Morgan's home. He's no longer working in Oklahoma. Whoop, whoop. We're super excited about that. And yeah, I just want to do this quick little update and kind of tell you where we're at and tell you that next week we'll have a lot more 
uh, will be a lot better because there will be clips actually throughout the week so you can see the different things that I'm eating and making and kind of daily updates of like whatever workouts, um, anything I want to share with you that day will be more of like a weekly diary versus this, which is, I think everything in this video was filmed over the weekend. Um, and then that's why I'm inserting these clips of like other meals that I eat during weekdays. Cause on the weekdays, I just forgot to film because I didn't realize I was doing this. So without further ado, let's jump into the rest of the meals that I ate last week and, uh, some of the Sunday footage. And the next video you'll see is actually going to be that after the Sunday footage, me that next day, Monday, this past Monday, I went grocery shopping. We made an amazing meal I'm gonna share with you. Um, I meal prepped two lunches for the week um, and some snack boxes. So the next video is also gonna be a really good one. The video after that will be the diary um, of week two and we'll see, did I lose weight on week two? How was I feeling? Uh, so far, so good. So I'll see you in that video. So one night, Morgan made this blackened tilapia with some zucchini and rice. It's delicious. I'll link our recipe for that down below. Um, and then I baked salmon one night with the Trader Joe's um, sweet chili sauce on top, just jasmine rice and stir fry vegetables, also delicious. And then on Sunday, I started my day out with a big salad. I used um, chicken, tomato, cucumber, pickled red onion, and the Olive Garden light dressing. It was delicious. Definitely be packing this for lunch in the future. I really enjoyed this salad. And then you'll see at the end, I made a really good smoothie. So just protein powder, banana, a couple strawberries, ice, and some milk, and it was delicious. I've been really loving those smoothies. At least one a day, especially on days that I work out, is really hitting the spot.